Hey guys, it's Andrew at night, and today I'm going to show you how you can play PlayStation 1 games on your Nexus 7 tablet. You don't need to be rooted for this, and the cool thing is you can actually play on them using an Xbox 360 wired controller, as you can see here. Um, I believe also the DualShock controller should work, and there's also a whole host of unbranded, um, this sort of nubule thing, analog stick style controller that should work, as long as they're USB. Um, just have a Google around on some forums, and I'm... I guarantee you'll be able to find whether they work or not. Um, and then you also need one of these OTG cables, which is just the female USB port to the male micro USB port. And you can buy these off eBay for literally about 65p. Um, I'll put a few links in the description to some auctions with them on. Uh, they're not mine, they're just random ones. I'll try and find the one that I bought it from. But obviously those links may die, so sort of in a month or so time, uh, I'd literally just go to eBay and Google um, or search uh, OTG cable and just check that they're these style and quite a lot of them say for Android so they'll work um, and then you just need to pick yourself up a controller most people I don't have an Xbox this is my brother's but I might just borrow this when he's not using it and that works completely stock out of the box you literally just plug it in and play um, next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually set the emulator up the emulator I suggest you use is called FPSE and I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, I'll put a link to all these apps in the description. I believe it's about £1.50. It may have changed since I bought it. Um, but that's what I suggest you use. The next thing you need is the BIOS file. And this causes people quite a lot of problems. Um, I can't actually post a link to it because it's firstly technically illegal. I don't think it would get me in any trouble, but I just don't want to tempt fate. And the other thing is the play the servers that they host these um, BIOS is on seem to change quite a lot so if you post a link it's normally dead within sort of six or seven days so what I'm going to do is post in the description the exact tag like the exact name of the file and if you just google for that you should be able to find it really really quickly so just copy paste I think it's like SHP15 something rather um, but I'll put that in the description so copy paste that into google and you'll be able to find the BIOS really quickly and you want to I suggest doing that on your tablet downloading it straight from your browser uh, onto your tablet and then you'll be able to find it uh, via the FPSE app. So when you've downloaded the BIOS you want to open up FPSE and uh, I was quickly loading ISO. Um, what you want to do is hit the back button go into config system no config uh, misc and scroll down and you'll be able to see load BIOS and you want to hit that and then you need to navigate um, I have everything in the same downloads folder so it's that folder but you can obviously navigate up uh, and find where your stuff is um, and then you want that, fold, that file that you've downloaded and you hit that and that will load the BIOS for you and then the next thing you need is ROMs which come in ISO files and the place you want to get those from is called coolroms.com and I'll put a link to that in the description and again I suggest you open this up on your tablet and go to it, so cool this has popped up, coolrom.co.uk and then you search for one you want uh, so we'll search the classic, everyone has to have crash bandicoot if you want to type, there we go the website is a little bit slow but it works fine hello, um, that's slightly creepy Come on. I'm not quite sure why my Wi Fi suddenly goes gone so weak. Um, you search for the ROM you want, and you'll be able to find it if it ever actually loads. And then you can download it straight from the website, straight onto your device. <sighs> Come on. So, what's everyone doing for the weekend? Here we go. Um, so, the one we want. So, Crash Bandicoot Warped for Sony PlayStation. Which one is the top one? Yeah. And it'll open up a page that look, should look something like this. And you want to zoom in and ignore the freaky as fuck advert. Ugh. We're not watching that. And you've got a download now button. You want to hit that and it'll open it up in a new tab. And then you've got your sort of wait for seven seconds, hit download, wait for three more seconds, hit download again.
had to cut that, I got a phone call. Um, so when you hit the download now, or download your file button. And as you can see, it starts the download. I'm just going to cancel this because I've already downloaded it. So yeah, you download that, and then what you want to do is open it up using Z Archiver. A couple of these will just unzip automatically, but most of them you will need to use this. So you navigate to your downloads, um, and you find a .7z file, tap it, and then you hit extract here. And then when you've, had, when you've extracted that, you go back to your emulator, and we'll just quit it and show you what it looks like on the start. You want to select ISO to load, and you'll be able to see the .bin file from whichever ones you've uh, uh, downloaded. The other app I suggest is Solid Explorer. When you're doing this, if you ever want to just check where things are on your device, sort of how they're doing in your downloads folder, Solid Explorer is a great little file, great little file manager. So, for example, you can just go into your download folder, and here I can see everything I've downloaded. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. Sometimes you're not quite sure if things have actually saved or not, because some of these files are quite big. Um, the other thing, I'll just quickly show you playing a game with a controller, just to show you that it does work. And all you want to do is plug in your cable there, plug it in to the bottom of the device. There's a hair. Whose hair? My hair is not that long. That's slightly disgusting. Um, plug it in. Come on. There you go. Into your Nexus. You know, I'm going to prop it up in my Galaxy S3, just get the angle a bit there. There we go. Um, let's turn the sound on so you can see the sound works. So I'm going to go into load my save game. I don't know why the screen is so reflective on the Nexus. It's really weird. So as you can see here, I am controlling it. It's, all the buttons work, and you can map it all yourself in the settings for each game. Um, but yeah, this is just absolutely brilliant. This is um, sort of Android games, I think it should be, where as far as emulating goes. There's also a couple of games that um, support the control uh, natively, but I may do another video on that. Um, and I'm also going to start doing some Let's Play videos. Instead of doing reviews of applications, I'll choose my favourite apps, um, or my favourite games, and just play them for like 10 minutes and talk about them, and then I'll edit that together, and hopefully that should serve as a sort of review, but it should also be slightly more interesting. And um, yeah, I just think reviews sometimes, they're a little bit sort of contrived and sterile and a bit dull, so hopefully that'll make it a bit more interesting. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, please comment or PM, as I sort of appreciate that um, this is something that people seem to find fairly difficult. And the first couple of times I had to set the emulators up, um, it was a bit of a chore. And I also appreciate that I may have not been um, sort of as lucid as I could have been. Um, but yeah, so basically download the emulator, download the BIOS, um, download your ROMs and extract them using said archiver. And again, I'll put links to all the apps in the description. You can also do this all on your computer as well and then just drop the files across um, if that's a bit easier for you. Um, yeah, I believe I've covered everything. Um, I will see you guys next time. Any requests, please comment. Ta-ra!